What's up, Vargas Dolphin? Mr. Bet here with uh, another uh, chess lesson number three. Uh, in today's lesson, we're going to review setting up a chessboard, and then we're going to start working on the player moves, so how the pieces move, starting with the rook and the bishop today. Rook and the bishop. Okay, now, uh, I only have my white pieces on the board, just so it's easier for you to see me set them up. I have my black ones right over here. Once I set up my white ones, the player I'm playing with will be setting up the black ones, or if I'm setting up a board and my player is busy, I can set up the white side and the black side uh, once I know how to set up a chessboard. So let's review that first. So remember, the board itself, uh, two things, there's two important rules in setting up a chess game. Do you remember the first one? White on right, yeah. So my corner... Uh, on the right, on my right, is white. And my opponent's square is also white on their right when they're facing me to play me, okay? So that's step number one. Make sure your board is set up correctly. Okay, the next step, do you remember what this guy is called? That's a rook. That's right. And you have two rooks, and you're going to put those on the corners, all right, on the outside, okay? Then the next piece you're going to place What's that? The knight. Yes, the knight. And the knight, also two of them, go next to the rook. And then we have this guy. That's the bishop. So let's put our bishops into place right next to them. Okay. Now I go for my queen next. Okay. The queen. Do you remember the rule about the queen? That's right. The queen is always on her color. So if I have the light pieces on my side, I'm going to put it on the light color of the board. Okay. And then the king goes next king goes next to the queen. And that's my back row. Okay. Then I set up my eight pawns. How many? That's right. Eight. I set up my eight pawns in front. Okay. And I'm now set up. And I could go about starting up setting up the black. If I, my player is busy and I'm setting up the board for both of us, or um, if he's here, he'll be setting up his pieces as I'm setting up mine. Okay? So that's setting up a chessboard. Now I'm going to remove everybody from this board so that you, we can focus on the players of today. And the players of today are the Rook and the bishop, okay? Now, we're gonna start, we're gonna start with the rook, and I'm gonna set my rook right in the middle of the table so it's easy for you to understand, okay? Now, what I want you to do is I want you to put up your finger, okay? And I want you to make what we call a plus sign. So go down and across, okay? Once again, down and across. And you now have the way the rook moves. He can move up and down and he can move side to side and he can move any amount of spaces he wants uh, until there's a, uh, another player. So let's say if I have my knight here and my rook is here, he can't move because he can't jump over the knight. So he can move here or he can move all the way over here but he cannot move through another player, okay? So that's how the rook moves. Show me once again with the plus sign. Good, yep. Okay, that's the rook. The bishop moves in a similar fashion, but instead of a plus sign, put your finger up again. And this time I want you to make an X, the letter X, okay? Letter X. Now, that shows the way a bishop can move. So a bishop moves diagonally is what we call it. So it moves across the board like this, okay? If it's on this side, it can go this way, okay? Now, so how does a bishop move once again? In an X fashion. Now, there's one thing about the bishop that's a little bit different. I want to show you that. Let me grab my other bishop. The bishops, remember we have the rooks, then the knights, 
then the bishops. And I want you to see something here as I set these up. You can see this one is on the dark color, and this one is on the light color. Uh, and the way this works, if they can only move in diagonal lines, you're going to find as you move this one, it can it always stays on the light colored squares of the board. It's made, this one does the opposite. It's always going to stay on the dark. So you have one bishop for the dark squares, and you have one bishop for the light squares, okay? The roof doesn't work like that because I could go here, which is a dark square, or I could go here, which is a light square. So the color of the square doesn't matter for a rook, but for the bishop it does, okay? All right, now, tomorrow we will review the um, rook and bishop movements, and then I'm going to teach you the king and the queen movements, okay? All right, good job today. This is Mr. Betts. And I'll see you next time.